everyone. Hope you're having a great day. I'm here today to share with you a recipe that is fit for fall. Most people, including myself, think of fall time as pumpkin, squash, but I also like to include cranberries in the mix because I tend to think of Thanksgiving, the holidays, and even if you don't use the fresh cranberries, the dried cranberries can add that little fall twist too. So today, if you like oatmeal cookies, you're going to want to stick around because this is a new swing. You're going to add, swap out the chocolate chips, add in the white chocolate chips, and add in the cranberries, which give it a little chew and an extra flavor boost to them, which I think is really fun. And this goes to show you can whip up homemade cookies from scratch in like 10 minutes. So preheat your oven to 375 degrees. I got that going. You're also going to want to get out your stand mixer, your hand mixer, whatever you have. I'm using the paddle attachment today. And what I have in the bowl is two-thirds cup unsalted butter, two-thirds cup of packed brown sugar that I've creamed together, and I then added in the two eggs. Everything's at room temp, has been sitting out for about an hour. So I'm going to finish creaming this, come back, and show you the next step. Okay. So here I am now, I got another bowl, a KitchenAid bowl to match my KitchenAid mixer, cool. Okay, so you're going to have the dry ingredients in here and I've already whisked them together but what it is, is one and a half cups of all purpose flour mixed with one and a half cups of the old fashioned rolled oats, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt and I added in just a sprinkle of cinnamon just because I don't like cookies or anything for that matter without cinnamon it just makes it better and it's fitting for fall so these are your dry ingredients then that you have all mixed in here ready to go my butter and my sugar and eggs are all creamed together and so what you're going to want to do now is add the flour the dry ingredients I should say mixture in in about five four to five increments I usually suggest so I'm going to add the first little bit in the mixer here okay and I'm just going to turn it on let that mix in and then continually beat these up so let's see how it goes There it is, mixing up. And as soon as you see all the flour has been mixed in, you're gonna add in the next increment and keep doing that until this bowl is empty. Okay, so I've finished everything up until the last step before we're putting them in the oven and you're probably wondering, Cassie, what happened to the best part? You got me at chocolate. So. Here we go. We have two thirds cup white chocolate chips here. And I suppose I should show you the mixture. That's how it's going to look once you've scraped the edges, all that good stuff. So I'm going to pour the white chocolate chips in. Heaven forbid I'd never forget the chocolate. And here we have the six ounce pack of dried cranberries, craisin ocean spray, whatever you want to call them. So I have that right here. I'm just going to open it. You want the six ounce package, so you're putting in two thirds cup white chocolate and a six ounce package of cranberries. If I can get it open here, that'd be nice. I think I'm going to have to use the scissors. Not a big deal. So yes, the whole six ounce package is going in, perfect. And then in the meantime, before you mix, you may want to get your cookie sheets ready. I am using the bullseye baking sheets today, which yes, are my favorite. If you've never heard of them, this is what they look like. It's actually a parchment paper that has bull's eyes on them, so you know where to put your cookies so that they're equally spaced and they're not going to run into each other. Because don't you hate that when you end up having to like cook your, cut your cookies apart after they've baked 
yeah, not fun. So these make it easy, plus makes cleanup easy. Instead of washing the whole pan, all you do is take the parchment paper off, crumple it up, throw it away. So you can actually buy these on bullseyebaking.com. Um, I actually got these as a sample to test out a while ago. I'll put the link to the review. Um, they're just awesome. If you bake a lot of cookies, these are a must. So anyway, I'm going to finish mixing these up and then plop them on my bullseye bake. After I finished mixing the cranberries and the chocolate chips in, I put them all out on my bullseye baking sheet. This is actually the second batch that's going in. The other one is going to be coming out of the oven in 33 seconds. So if you want to hang in there. I'll let you see what they look like. My kitchen just smells delicious, so that goes to tell you that they're going to be super good. And they make, let's see, 5, 10, 13, so 26, so two and a half dozen cookies. Yeah, about two and a half dozen cookies you're going to get out of this batch, and they look about done. So let's shut that off, get the trusty baking mitt. Oops. There we go. And look at them. Woo. Hot air. Oh, delish. We'll throw this other one in. Bottom rack here. Set the timer. You are going to set them for 12 minutes here. So let's see. Whoops. Not that far. There we go. And take a look at these beauties. Ooh. Yum. Slightly browned on the edges. They didn't really spread out much. But see how nice this bullseye baking sheet keeps them? You're definitely going to want one. So I'm going to grab a cooling rack here. Put it up. There we go. Don't you just want one? Which is why you should make them today. So we're going to put this up on the rack here. Okay guys, here is the final product. All 26 cookies. Look at how nice. The texture is just awesome. The bottoms are slightly browned, which is how I like them. Slightly crispy if you don't like them a little crispy on the edge, you might want to take them out at, say, 10 minutes or start testing then because these the timing for these runs 10 to 12 minutes. So these smell great. They look great. Perfect if you want to put them in little fall gift bags to give them out. I know I'm going to be giving some to all my friends. Um, a little healthier with the cranberries and the oatmeal. Um, the white chocolate just makes them better because chocolate makes everything better. Thanks for hanging out in my kitchen today with me. I appreciate it and stay tuned for the next video. I'll try to have one up as soon as I can. Okay, bye.